Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and as many of you have requested, this is my What's on My Android Phone Late 2016 Edition. A lot of you saw the iPhone version of this and asked for Android, so I thought I'd share that. So this is the 2016 version of the Pixel XL, and if you haven't seen this already, I actually dropped this onto concrete. This is the first phone I've ever dropped, actually, onto anything other than carpet, and it actually put a little nick here. I don't like to use cases, but if you follow me on Twitter or on Instagram, you'll actually be able to see these ahead of time. I posted this some time ago, so I'll, I'll leave a link in the description, as I always do, and you can see it there. Now, as for this wallpaper, this is the stock wallpaper. If you're not familiar with Android, this comes with the Pixel, and it changes depending on the time of day and day. This background just kind of fades in and out and changes. So I like that wallpaper as it's ever-changing. So this is my home screen layout, and it's very simple and clean, or I try to keep it that way anyway. I have my email clients down here, and I typically use Inbox instead of Gmail. It's great for handling a lot of different emails at once. So if you get a lot of different similar emails or it breaks them into promos, it's actually made by Google. And if you're not familiar with it already, check it out. It's free. I really like the way it, it works once I got used to it. In my news folder here, I have Pocket that I use regularly, and I use these apps, many of them interchangeably between this and the iPhone. I carry this with me pretty much everywhere the iPhone goes. I like to use them both. So I use Pocket to save stories. Play Newsstand is what I've been using for news, and I've been using Palabre, I think is how you say that, for regular news on here. It uses a Feedly feed, and unfortunately, there's no Pulse News equivalent that I'm aware of on Android. And if there was, I would definitely use it. I use one called Heartfeed on the iPhone that someone made after Pulse went away. In the current form that it is, it just stinks. So I don't use it now that LinkedIn has bought it. But if anyone knows of a similar one to that, if as far as Heartfeed or whatever on Android, let me know here. I would love to see that. So these are just the news apps that I use. I use Maps, of course, Google Keep for my notes. So on Apple, I use Notes. Here, I use Google Keep. I like either one. They're, they're both pretty good. And then, of course, YouTube and managing that. Photos, I'm on a Pixel, and all photos are free and video, unlimited, whatever. So they give me free, unlimited video when you buy a Pixel. So you've got that with photos. And then under social, I use Phoenix for Twitter. And as I said before, I'm on Twitter all the time and Instagram. I am on Facebook as well, and I do respond to messages pretty much every one of them. So if you want to message me somewhere, I can't respond to all of them in a timely manner, but I do try and respond if you have questions or things like that. But Phoenix is a great way to manage Twitter, and I use it regularly. It works really well, and you'll see there's my Twitter name there. But it works really well, and I'm pretty happy with it. I like it over the Twitter app. It, it breaks things down a little bit nicer and lets you see more. I have the, the church app, similar as I do on my iPhone. And then here I manage my podcast with Pocket Casts. This is one of my favorite apps. There are others out there, but I listen to different ones. Crime Town's really good if you like that sort of thing. This That's a pretty interesting show. And then I just listen to some of these occasionally. Not every one of them, but once in a while. Under Music, Google Play Music and SoundCloud. Very similar to what I'm doing on the iPhone I'm doing here. I like to keep things fairly consistent so I can easily switch back and forth. And then, of course, the Play Store. On my second screen, I only have two screens here. I have my Project Phi meter as far as how much data I'm using. So this is connected to Project Phi, which is nice. Oh, and this is actually running Android 7.1.1. So let's see if we can find that. I think we're right here. You'll see it's 7.1.1, the latest version of Android, and it's been pretty good. So here we have VR. Now this uses Google Daydream, and that's their Google Daydream headset, and I do have that if you're interested in that. I'm not sure how I could show that on a video, but if you've used it, you know it's pretty good, and I can definitely show it to you in a video if you'd like. Just let me know in the comments below. So this is all the content for that, for VR. Then password management, Starbucks. Uh, I also have Dunkin' Donuts, I think, on here. Uh, NordVPN, Imgur. It's where I share a lot of my images and wallpapers. I have some finance apps that I use. Uh, I like MoneyWiz. It works between Android and iPhone, so you can go between either one of those. Snapchat, great big story. This is a really cool app, and this is an app I use on both devices, but these are just some very interesting stories. You'll see they're videos, and they're pretty short videos, very well done, and different stories about interesting topics. 
Filmic Pro, this is a great pro app. It first came out on the iPhone and now it's on Android. I think it's $10, but it lets you professionally kind of shoot video. It lets you lock different things uh, such as white balance and you can lock the focus and there's the white balance button there. You've got a million different settings in here, frame rates, all sorts of things. And it's definitely worth checking out. You'll see it's actually picking up my voice here. You've got your little voice meter. It's really, really good and much better than the stock app in the sense that it lets you really fine tune what you want to do. Other than that, I have the Eero, the Eero application to manage my routers. I did a video about that. Oh, I think about a week ago or so I've been using them or I did a review a week or so ago. That's to manage my routers. Prime Photos, I, I use Google Photos, but I've also been trying out Prime Photos. If you saw another video I did on Apple Photos, that didn't really work out so well with the amount of photos I have. So I've been using different ones to try them out. And then since it's just past the Christmas season and I've been shopping, I use Amazon a lot. And then Signal Info is interesting. That's actually to measure Project Fi. And you can see where it's switching on and off different networks. So it's going from Wi-Fi, from Sprint to T-Mobile, to Wi-Fi to T-Mobile, all over the place. It just keeps going back and forth and it's all seamless. But this just shows you what's going on. So that's pretty nice. In the app drawer, you'll see there's nothing really outside of what I have on my main screen other than a few entertainment apps. I do use Google Now quite a lot as far as the news goes here. It just picks out news that it thinks I want to see. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. But for the most part, I like it and I do check it. So I really try to keep this fairly minimalist and just go to my social and my news feeds most of the time. And that's really how I manage things on Android. As far as the Pixel goes, I've actually been enjoying using it. It gets great battery life. I do miss the form factor of the 6P. This is probably one of my favorite Android phones of all time. I like the Pixel as far as the smoothness of it and the battery life of it and the camera for sure. But the Nexus isn't far behind. And if you had to pick between the two, I actually like the Nexus 6P better, the camera better in the Pixel and the battery better in the Pixel. Otherwise, this is one of my favorites. But other, other than that, that's pretty much it. If you think there's some apps I should check out, I really don't play games on, on this phone at all. As you noticed, I don't have a games fol uh, folder at all, but I would be willing to check something out. If you have a suggestion, let me know in the comments below. And if you think there's something else I should check out that I'm not, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.